Welcome back to IASTEC. In this video, I will show you that how to install Tailwind CSS in your next JS project. I am going to show you from very scratch. So let's begin. First of all, open your terminal. Let's create a new project. For that, just open your terminal and start type npx create next app. Press buy to say yes and here you need to specify your project name and use typescript if you want press enter and you can use the default option or if you want to use source directory you can press enter now it is asking you to use the experimental app directory just press enter wait for some time Okay, now our next JS project has been installed. Now I'm going to open it in VS Code. For that, let's go into that folder that we just created in the, for this project. Okay. Now our next JS app has been opened in the VS Code. Now we can start this application. So let's do that. If you want to see what is the command, just go to the package.json and here you will find all of the commands. I am just going to run npm run dev command that would run the application in our browser. So this is the URL that you can open in the browser. Just click on click on that and that will open it in your browser like this. Now we are going to install the Tailwind CSS, go to the documentation of Tailwind and click on the framework guides here. You will see the list of all of the uh, possible frameworks where you can use uh, the Tailwind CSS. As we want to integrate it with the Next.js, so just click on the Next.js and here you will see all of the steps that are required to install the Tailwind CSS. So very first project is that it is asking you to create a next app. We already have done that. So after we have to install Tailwind, Tailwind CSS for that, just copy this command and paste in here in a new tab. So this would install the dev dependency uh, with Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and Auto Prefixer. Just press Enter and wait for some time. Meanwhile, we will copy the next command. So once Tailwind CSS is installed, we just have to run this command to initialize our Tailwind CSS. If you run this, then it will generate uh, these two files for uh, for you tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js so let's try that okay now paste that command and uh, notice in your files area that uh, those files are not there yet but if you press enter then both of those configuration files would be generated like this post css and tailwind css are here now So next is uh, we have to configure your template path in tailwind config.js file. So just copy this part and go back to your VS code and replace it with the content property with that. All right. Now, after that, you have to add the tailwind directives to your CSS for that. Just copy this code and in your VS code, open the global dot CSS file on the top. Just paste these two, uh, these three lines. After that, you just have to run your server. So our server is already running. We will just stop and start it again. And <clears throat> now just to test it, I'm going to copy paste this code and let's see if that works. So in your application, this is the HTML. So I'm going to delete all of this and I will use simple HTML with the Tailwind CSS uh, classes. So this would increase the font size and this, this would make it bold and this should add the underline. So let's see if that works. Okay, you can see that, uh, you can see that it is working perfectly fine. Uh, it has added all the styles that I wanted to add with the help of these classes. 
but for now let's uh, try to add some more interesting uh, elements just to make sure that works so for example this is some code that i want to test so in this code you can see that all of the elements are using uh, tailwind css classes but there is an issue with the class property in the uh, react or next yes you cannot use the attribute class you have to replace it with the class name because that class name uh, class is actually a reserved word you cannot use it okay now let's try it in our browser to see how it looks like okay you can see that it is working perfectly fine there is actually background black color that is why you cannot see it very clearly so i'm going to try to remove the background color i don't need all these this code so i will just remove it and let me see here as well okay <clears throat> now you can see that uh, i have all of this style out of the box here Next, the picture is not visible because they were using the relative path. I am going to copy the image address from here so that I could use in my HTML. So I am going to replace it with this one. And let's see. Okay, you can see that it is working perfectly fine. Let's try a few more examples if, uh, if available here. So for example, I want to make this design in Tailwind CSS and uh, next CSS. So just copy this code and paste it here. Again, we have to replace class with the class name property. For every image tag, I guess you have to add this kind of syntax to make it correct otherwise it will crash your html so i'm just fixing the image tags so that was the problem now it should be fixed let's try it in our browser you can see that it is working again uh, just images are not visible so i will uh, copy paste the image address and paste it in my html Right, you can see that it is looking great and it is working perfectly fine uh, we have installed the tailwind css in our new next.js project and it is working perfectly fine and i hope that uh, this video will be useful for you so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon also please uh, like share and comment on this video if you have any questions thanks for watching see you next time